And for today's video, we are going to be converting my parents' lanai into a cage. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting new topsoil all the way around. We already got a little hole right here pre-dug out. So that's going to sit right here in the hole. You're here, bud. You're at your new home, so he doesn't know what to think. Oh, you want down? Oh, okay. Here you go, bud. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing Monday. My Monday is going great and for today's video we are going to be converting my parents lanai into a cage. We're going to be putting this big guy right there, that Cuban rock iguana, we're going to be putting him in there. So for those of you that don't know what a lanai is, a lanai is basically like a little room, like a little thingy majigger off of a bathroom, off of a house where you have plants and it's kind of like a nice little zen area. My parents really don't use it for much, so I need a cage for this guy because he's literally just been living on the patio for the past couple weeks. You know, at nighttime I bring him in, but he spends the days out here. He's an old man. So let me sh let me just turn around the camera and show you him. Dunna, 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 dunna. Hi, buddy. So this right here is one of my bigger Cuban rock iguanas. This is an older male. Not really old. Kind of in his teenage years. He's only 30 years old. You know, for these guys, that 30 years old can be pretty young considering they can live to be until 60 years old. This guy was imported a very, very long time. Why, bro, why are you running? I just made him a nice plate with all kinds of goodies, with some lettuce, carrots, sweet potatoes, bananas. And then this guy wants to leave. Hey, come here. Hey, there. Oh, you'll go for the banana, though. So I do not have a proper setup for this guy. He's just living on the patio and he can't live indefinitely on the patio because there's going to be times where no one's here at the house and I don't feel comfortable leaving him back here just in case he gets another animal or another animal gets him. Just a bad situation. So we want to avoid that altogether. So let me go over to the lanai right now in my parents' bathroom and I'll show all of you guys what we're going to do. Ah, so here we are. We are in the lanai. Now... I've already been working on it a little bit. I actually started working on it and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to show everyone this. Everyone will want to see this. So I kind of put it a halt on it. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting new topsoil all the way around the lanai. You can see that there's really not much topsoil here. And this stuff right here has fertilizers in it because, you know, we used to have a lot of plants out here where we would put fertilizers, pesticides, all that stuff. So what we want to do is we want to put a nice new layer all over the top in order to get all those pesticides away. These plants right here, we're ripping those out. These right here, ripping them out. The ferns, the, oh, I almost walked into a spider web. I almost died right there. Hey, buddy. Hey, where are you going? So basically what we're going to be doing is removing these plants, leaving the ferns, leaving the bromeliads, and we're going to be filling it up with topsoil. Put a nice, oh, my God. Gosh, it's on me. It's attached to my hand. Look at it. Look. There he is. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I am not a spider fan, guys. I don't know. They just kind of creep me out. So there you go, bud. Look at him. A little crap spider. So we have a little bit of topsoil here. We got some more on the outside of the house. So we are going to go head over to Home Depot now where we're going to get some plants. I think I'm going to put a hibiscus plant in there. Got to get a nice little water dish. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. So I will see all of you guys over at Home Depot. I am in here in Home Depot now. We've got a couple of supplies already. We already have topsoil, but we're going to get a couple extra bags just to be safe, just in case we don't have enough. Oh, see, do you see it? Yeah, it's, oh wait, no, we don't. All right, guys, we're here. We've got a lot of our supplies. We've got our topsoil. This is just one of the plants that we're gonna be putting in the lanai. This is a beautiful yucca plant, but we're looking for mulch and looks like they're out just because it's been the weekend and they may have been over there, but yeah, there's literally no mulch, guys. We might not be putting mulch in here. May have to wait till tomorrow morning, come back when they get a fresh shipment, a fresh pallet of mulch. For those of you guys that want to do this yourself, these are actually pretty inexpensive. They're only $5.98 each, which is, you know, a great deal for these plants. Dad, will you do the honors? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Grab the plants. <laughs> so this bird of paradise just caught my eye from a distance, and 
it's gonna look sick in there. We're gonna put these, it's gonna give it a nice tropical look and you know, I've actually had these around iguanas and the iguanas really don't eat it. I wanna go for plants that the iguanas are not gonna eat. I don't want them to destroy my landscaping. But this stuff right here, I mean, has a nice tropical look to it. I mean, this is gonna look sick in there. Here you go, sir. I'm gonna get one, I, how many should we, I think we should get at least three of them. Two nice sized ones, you know. This, these are the two biggest ones right here, and the rest are just kind of dinky looking, much smaller. Yeah, nice. Let's go. Yeah, we got to figure out how we're going to do this just because, yeah, we just have, we have a lot of stuff today. We, it's, it's been a successful Home Depot day. Nice. All right. Thanks to your uh, Jenga skills, you know, we... we <laughs> <laughs> Jenga, we got it. All right, guys, we got all of our supplies. Unfortunately, we asked, and there is, you know, no more mulch here. So we're going to have to come back in the morning. Hopefully, they'll have a fresh pallet of mulch. Or, you know, for now, we'll just have to settle without. Guys, we are back from Home Depot. We have got all of our supplies, what we need. But it's about to be sundown. You can see the sun is starting to set all the way over there. So basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to unload this. And tomorrow morning, we are going to be finishing the inside of you know the lanai good morning good morning my beautiful people hope all of you guys are having an amazing morning my day is going great so far and i am here in the lanai now and i have all the supplies the topsoil some of the plants ready to go so we can finish this cage you know i really wouldn't call this a cage this is more of a dream habitat a mansion for this iguana so I have the topsoil placed all around the edges. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get them started with holes in them so I can just pour it out. Well, that was a miss. I'm looking through my camera lens, guys. So just going to go here, hit it. And the last one is done. We've got all of the bags torn open. So now it's pretty easy. All I got to do is lift it, sort of, and get the dirt out. And that's it. We've got our last bag of topsoil in place. So basically what we have to do now is kind of spread this around evenly. You can see it's just in big piles. And I've actually decided to leave these plants here. Reason why, they're not good for iguanas, but honestly the iguanas don't really touch it. All my iguanas have never touched plants I've really put in their enclosures. They will touch hibiscus plants, but really nothing else. Certain iguanas will touch plants, but I've never had the issue with mine. So we have the soil completely leveled out. Now I actually decided to not put the birds of paradise in whatsoever because I'm gonna keep those plants right there. I'm gonna keep these here. The iguanas really don't mess with them. They don't really eat them. So this plant, we're going to be putting in 100%. Now I didn't mention it before, but if you guys are planning on doing something similar to this, make sure the topsoil that you use is free of fertilizer and pesticides because that can be harmful to your animals. The stuff that I use is pure topsoil, no additives, no nothing. But this right here, you can see, has all kinds of fertilizers in it. You can see those little green balls. So before we plant it, we actually want to take about the first layer off in the garbage can, just so we can try to get a lot of those fertilizer balls out of here. Voila! So what you want to do whenever you're planting a new plant is you want to break up the bottom roots, just because they're all stuck to the pot. And you want them to be nice and loose so they can take root inside of the ground. Right there, nice nice and loose we already got a little hole right here pre-dug out so that's going to sit right here in the hole put that there you can see the fertilizer balls are there but we're going to be completely covering it up so that it's not exposed so the iguana doesn't go near it now what you're going to want to do is pack it really tight just so the plant doesn't go anywhere perfect look at that Beautiful looking plant. And I actually was lucky enough to find mulch here at my house. I don't think I'm gonna have enough for everything, but I'm gonna have enough to cover the visible areas. So we're not gonna do a thick layer of mulch. Small hole. Just kinda put the mulch in here, spread it all throughout. All right guys, we have our mulch entirely leveled and it looks great. I mean, look at this. So as far as the landscaping goes in here, we are done. Now, what we have to do now is we have to get a water dish for this lizard. Obviously, he's going to need to be able to drink water when he's in here. And then we got to get the lizard and bring him in here and introduce him into his new mansion. And 
now we have our water dish in here. This little water dish is gonna live like right there, right in that corner. Now it is time for the moment all of you guys have been waiting for. We gotta go get the lizard and bring him into his new home. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Whoa, come here. Whoa, where are you going, guy? Whoa, relax. So we've got him right here. He's not too happy about being picked up. Hey, he's kind of calmed down. You're here, bud. You're at your new home, so he doesn't know what to think. Oh, you want down? Oh, okay. Here you go, bud. Here, go in your new home. Look at him. He's going to go right for the sun right there. Oh, yeah. Right for the sun. So like I was saying before, in the future, I may actually be adding some shelves in here. So I may put a shelf right here and here where that's going to be, you know, the hottest spots during the day have a little obligatory urination, you know. Nice. Come on, for the camera, really? How are you gonna do that? So I was actually just spraying off the pee and I noticed that he was kind of opening his mouth for water. So let's see if he's thirsty. He might be a little bit thirsty right now. Here, bud. Look at him, he's going crazy drinking that water. If you look at his jowls right there, you can see his fat jowls moving back and forth. He's really drinking water, man. He's thirsty. And look at his lower abdomen. He's thirsty little lizard. No more? So I'm just going to leave him be for now. You know, whenever you introduce an animal into a new environment, it can be stressful for them. So you really want to leave him alone. So I'm going to leave this guy be for now so he can settle in. But I hope all of you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys have not already, please go give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this build because, I mean, it is just absolutely epic. And we actually don't have a name for him. So what I want all of you guys to do right now is please go comment down below a name for the new Cuban iguana that we have here. And if I like the name, I will pick the winner and shout you out in the next video.